After trading James Harden, the Philadelphia 76ers are going to have to prove over the next year or so that they can become championship contenders. That's what they're going to have to prove to Joel Embiid to keep him happy and keep him in Philly long term. But I feel like the James Harden trade opened up a couple avenues in which they could do so. If Daryl Morey is able to move his assets the right way and make the right moves, then I think they could be in good shape. Let's start off by talking about how after they traded James Harden, this is going to set them up in a great scenario for this upcoming offseason in which they're projected to have over $66 million available in cap space. That's the second most cap space in the league. Usually when you talk about teams with the most cap space, like right now the Pistons are projected to have the most, it's young teams that aren't exactly winning teams yet that just have a young core. But the Sixers already have Tyrese Maxey, they'll pay him next offseason. They have Joel Embiid who they're paying. They have other guys like Tobias Harris too, and they still are in a position to have the second most cap space, which can mean it can open space for another max player and another star type player, and then some to come to Philly to go alongside Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid, because that's the big duo right now. So that could be big if they utilize it the right way. And also, if you're looking at the trade package that they got in return from James Harden, if you're looking at the seven players that were involved in the trade, you'd say, yeah, the Clippers got the better end of that deal. Deal. And today, the Clippers are a better team than they were yesterday because they got James Harden, P.J. Tucker. And the Sixers, they did get some players that can be good role players. Marcus Morris, Nicholas Batum, Robert Covington. They didn't exactly get any premier players. But what they did get was a couple draft picks. They get a 2026 and 2028 Clippers first-round picks. And those could be very valuable assets because you're talking about 2026 to some extent. But then 200 or 2028, that's in a a bunch of years from now. That's five years from now. There's question marks about the Clippers core of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George even staying intact after this season, but yet five seasons down the road in 2028, those picks could be very valuable, especially since the 2028 is unprotected. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be valuable for the 76ers to use because you're not trading James Harden just to get assets in return that you can use in 2028. I think you get that valuable asset and then you use it to swing it in to another impact player that can help you right now. And according to Chris Mannix, who's a senior writer with Sports Illustrated, some of the early chatter on names to watch with the Sixers of what they could possibly be using these assets to get are Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls and OG Ananobi of the Toronto Raptors. Now, those are definitely two interesting names and two names that have found themselves on the trade market as well. OG Ananobi, he was being talked about ever since the trade deadline last year. He could be a very valuable player. He's a versatile wing that could guard which could be big in the playoffs when they're facing a Boston or Milwaukee to get over the next hump. Then Zach Levine he could be another star level dynamic scorer that can add on in the backcourt with Tyrese Maxey and then also add on as another punch with Joel Embiid to form a big three. So I think both of those names are definitely interesting. Regardless though I think even though they gave up James Harden the Sixers are giving themselves multiple avenues that they could get better. They have the cap space next summer. They have a couple unprotected first round picks from the Clippers that around the league are going to be viewed as very valuable. It's going to be interesting to see what they do to supplement Maxi and Bede on this roster.